You all right, everybody? Scorching day. Um, if you can hear a noise, it's just me aircon. I've only got it on low. Otherwise, if I put it on properly, you're not going to hear me speaking. Um, so as I was saying, I beautiful day, scorching, and I'm on my way to the West Road Creme. I've got a job to do there. Um, silver leaf some lettering back in on the stone so I just thought I'd make a quick video um, so I'm on the west road now I'm just passing what used to be the old general oh I tell you what I seem to be, I seem to be catching all the red lights mind I like this uh, cemetery the West Road Creme, it's beautiful. You know, it, it's really, really well kept. You know, the graves are well kept. So I'm going to go and do this. It's for my friend's wife, it's her parents' grave. I'm going to do that. Then once I've finished that, I'm going to nip around to another grave, which is a very old friend of mine's wife um, tragic circumstances so I didn't want to go into it but I had all the time in the world by Carol she's a beautiful, beautiful woman in looks, nature, everything um, so I'm gonna go and pay me respect chances are I'll probably give the headstone, the curbs and all that a clean while I'm there I often, I often pop in, I, I call it popping in, I often pop to the grave um, just to have a chat with Carol. I, sometimes I often uh, pop in, you know if I'm doing a job in one part of the cemetery, I may go and run the cemetery because I've done boatloads of jobs, you know, and I can, and I just check, make sure that the jobs are still all right, and if I say something, that doesn't look right if I've got the gear with us I'll put it right straight away um, if I haven't got what's needed I make a note then the next time I'm up this area which is pretty much at least once a week once a fortnight at the very most I bring the gear with us and then I do the repair or whatever it's needed which I've got to be honest and say in four years, I think I've only ever had to do it twice. So, I'm one of them. Was um, was orange stain, and I had cleaned the headstone and the curbs, and I got some orange stain out. And I had said to the customer, I said, "Look, try if you can not to have your flowers." Sorry hanging over any of the marble because when it rains the dye out the petals lies on your marble and it'll absorb the dye then what happens is it doesn't look so bad you know when your stone's like dirtyish yeah but once you clean it the stain tends to stand out even more and the, the problem is because 9 out of 10 stones aren't sealed and marble is a porous stone so it absorbs and then it emits so if it absorbs dye it'll emit a lot of it but it will actually withhold a lot inside of the stone hence merely didn't even try it um, hence how you get the staining so I had told them if they had wanted I would seal the stone on every three months or every six whichever they wanted and they decided against it well needless to say I was at the cemetery ambulance and I noticed some orange staining but the orange staining wasn't when I had faded it out when I originally done the job, it was fresh orange stain. So I thought, well, they haven't been renewing the uh, the sealer. Because when I had said I would do it, 
the ass is what I used and I tell them that says there's also a cheaper stuff but you would hit a D like once every two or three months you know for it to have an impact on the stone and they said that they would so anyway with this new stain I knew that they hadn't so I polished it up because it's new it came with fairly easy and then I put some more sealer on it that was that one and the other one was some black lettering I had used uh, some some new paint it was new on the market at the time I can't remember the uh, manufacturer right and summick are you you know what it is I'm talking too much there Time too much, I nearly missed me a uh, tournament or the creme. Aye, the paint from right, it looked great for probably the first two and a half, yeah, maybe a little bit more. It looked absolutely fantastic. And then one day I went and I noticed oh, there must be a funeral gun on. So I've got to be very slow, quiet and respectful. So I'm going to turn the camera off. Right, as you can see, I'm in a pretty, pretty shaded area. And it's still warm. So I'm right, right in the bottom corner of the creme. And there's the stone that's got to be re-lettered in silver leaf so give it a good clean and a rinse and let that dry first so it's had a good thorough cleaning um, I'm just about to rinse it off and see if there's anything left on the stone still some marks on the bottom which I'll have to get off These are quite stubborn, these stains. That should be about it, I'm hoping.
it. Do that. dry off for 10 minutes so there it is with the first coat on it'll have probably another two coats on top of that and then it'll all be cleaned off and the stone will be polished so that's three coats it's had now and give this about 15 minutes to tack off um, then I'll start to clean it all up so there it is all cleaned off and the stone polished now because of the sunlight if you're gonna see how clean the stone is as I said this stone is for a friend's wife it's a parent so I was quite happy to do this one well I've finished that heat stone so now I've just come to Conticum Lane Conticum Road and I'm on the passing, bypassing Ben Metal Lane um, I'm going to ask that. My brother's just sent it. 400 yards leave the roundabout at the second exit right, and continue to follow at Kinson Road. Cheers, mate. I um, just had a text message off from my brother. Would I mind calling to Asda to get him some shopping? So I meant to Asda now to get him shopping. Turn left after 200 up, yards woman. and follow South Benwell Road. Um, did his shopping, I'll drop it off. I can drop all my gear off. Please turn next left. Yeah, hi man. Drop all my gear off at the lock up. Um, back home. See how the pop is because... Turn I've given... left after 200 yards and follow White She's House Road. Now, because I've given free run of the house. First time in either day, baby gets one on the stairs to stop running upstairs, one between the dining room and the living room to stop Please getting in the living room. Um, because he likes to chew stuff, more so wires. But he hasn't for a couple of days, so I thought, right, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt, you know, maybe he's getting out of that habit. Turn right after 300 yards he misses, and shut up. 8695. Yeah. So I'm giving the benefit of the doubt, but I'm going to unload this and I'll call him. Well, sorry, I'm gonna go and ask the force. Then I'll unload me stuff and I give all young shopping because we lot was on the same as dear. Please turn next right. And now where you take this, missus. Uh, can you see how he is? Make sure he's still got some milk. I've only been with the Rooster Boots two, maybe it's two and a half hours. Um, once I've seen to him, I'll probably go and do to me allotment. Uh, Follow the road for one mile. You sure he doesn't make it Eh, I'm going to turn her off. Do me allotment because I've got loads and loads today. So, it's going to take us really long to end the Scotchy Road. Now the Scotchy Bridge. Um, That's a worst now when you start tiring and she puts in then you totally forget what you was here. Well that stupid sat nav does put you off doesn't it? It's a couple of times there she pulls up my train of thought. Um, well as you can see I'm back in. Uh, got all young ones shopping. Dropped that off for them. 
got the army gear back off at the lock up, came back here, seen the little fella, he looks a little new, um, no mess up him, no damage anywhere that I've seen, he still had a fair bit of milk, which I've just put fresh back with for him again, um, I'm going to be here probably for the next maybe 30 minutes, 35 minutes, and I might go and do the allotment, and, or I might leave it till a bit later, you know, till the sun gangs doing. Yesterday, I was doing, I was in my greenhouse, and the temperature was just over 55 degrees, and I had all the windows open, and the door, and it was well done. I ended up having to get bits of cardboard and block partial parts of the windows off, like the bottom halves, where the sun was beating directly on the stuff, I'm all grown. Basically, they're giving me a bit of shade, you know, or they're going to end up getting burned. Um, it's too hot out there to go out and what I want veg, I have got out. Um, not that I've got a lot. First early taties, second early taties, um, red cabbage, savoy cabbage, ruined cabbage, swede. That's all I've got out up the new, but I've got cauliflower and broccoli and leeks. Onions, oh, I don't know, yeah, loads more sweet, and oh, cucumbers. I tell you what, this is my first time of growing cucumbers. Um, I checked my plant yesterday, though, on the greenhouse, it's got two canny big cucumbers on, like, um, I'd say that about six or seven inches in length. Thick, you know? So I'm not doing too bad with a forced time grower. Um, I've got two smaller plants in pots which are coming on. You time to change the pots for them shortly. And then when they're a certain size I'll probably put them outside and see how they get on. I see the high topics at the moment on YouTube are still decker. Um, he got beat off Robbie, Robbie tapped out, Robbie didn't tap out, um, it was a set up, Paul Venice was involved, Paul Venice wasn't involved, um, the only thing, I've got to be fair, I thought that, uh, that Robbie lad had tapped out, but when you listen to the explanation, that he had asked Decker if he, want, if he wanted to stand up and Decker had said I should tap him on the leg to say well here let's do it it is believable and you've never once heard Decker who I now love to make videos but you've never once heard Decker make a video and say that's not true he didn't ask as if I wanted to stand up you know what I mean so you've got to take it as yes it was a tap to say okay let me get up um Loads of people are saying Decker let Robbie off a few times. I agree to an extent. Mm. As in, maybe he could have finished it if he had got on top of him. But that's Robbie's game. MMA, fighting off your back. You know what I mean? So you sort of gone into a dangerous territory there. Like most boxers would probably step back and see get back up you know uh, so one thing I did find it's not funny it's not interesting I can't even think of the word for what it is but that I called the fight off with um, Dougie Joyce then he said he wanted an eight week training camp to get fit or fight fit whatever it was yeah Rich, yeah, loads of people want to do that, but I find it hypocritical of Decker to say that. Seeing only a few weeks ago, 
he called Ben Waddington out and Ben Waddington said well I'm not really fight fit give us an eight week training camp and Decker turned around and says a proper fighting man doesn't need a training camp a proper fighting man will fight there and then so if you can buy that Decker's always said he's a fighting man so if a fighting man doesn't need a training camp and he's ready to fight there and then does that mean Decker's now turned around saying that he's not a fighting man because he's asking for eight weeks you know, it, it is contradictory, isn't it? But all this is the main topic on YouTube, isn't it? It's between Decker having the fight with Robbie, Decker pulling out the fight with Dougie, Decker won the fight with Dougie, um, people are making videos again with Danny Christie, uh, some people are mentioning Paul Venice, and it's just gone on and on and on. So, do I think Robbie should rematch Decker? Um, no, not really. You know, they've had the one fight. Um, fair enough, it was in his discipline. But, another thing I couldn't understand it was billed as a no rules fight yet it had rules no biting no eye gouging but if it's no fight rule a, a no rule fight sorry why do you have those two rules if it's a street fight anything goes doesn't it somebody's getting the better you you'll poke them in the eye you'll bite them on the face you'll bite them on the up whatever you're gonna do to either get them off you or to get the upper hand you know um, so how can you say it's a no a no rules fight when you've got two rules there it's a weird one it's like king of the street that's no rules do what you want if you want to kick kick you want to headbutt headbutt elbow uh, bite eye gouge whatever you want to do but Do I think Robbie could beat Decker in a stand-up fight? No, I really don't. Um, then people are making comparisons. Could Robbie beat Danny? Could Danny beat Robbie? Um, my opinion, for what it's worth, in a stand-up fight, no. In an MMA fight, um, very, very possible. But that's all the, the talk is, really, at the moment, isn't it? It never seems to get no new. But good luck to all the channels who are making videos on Decca. If they're getting views, then good luck to them, you know. Uh, if they're a monetized channel and they're making money, which they'll not be making a lot, you know, you've got to have like thousands and thousands of subscribers, thousands and thousands of views before you start making any sort of, well, kind of decent money even. Um, one thing I didn't agree with was that I'm making the video about um, Lou from The Fuse being at the fight. He keeps going on, why was he there? Well, he was invited there. And then, another thing I thought of, Lou's footage is probably the best for none on the internet at the moment. So I don't know why Decker didn't look, just send him a message and say, look, as far as I'm concerned, you shouldn't have been there. But, I'll overlook that, not that it's got any say in the matter, but I'll overlook that, can I use your video on my channel? Because your video is 100% better than mine. But no, deck our guns on and on, but he shouldn't have been there, it's his fight, well, first of all, it wasn't his fight, it was his and Robbie's fight. 
Yeah. Um, so if Robbie invites him or one of Robbie's team invite him and he clears it with Robbie to see if it's okay and Robbie says yeah fine well then he's done an outrun the lad hasn't done anything wrong if that was the case why wasn't something said to him before the start of the fight i.e. I don't want him here or it was agreed there'd be me and you one man each and a referee that's not what's here you either call the fight up or you make some of these leave whichever but that didn't happen so it's a bit late it's like shutting the stable door after the horse is bolted really innit anyhow I'm just going to say that I hope you all have a good weekend starting from tomorrow yeah, chances are I'll be rushing but have a great time everyone thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Ta-da!